Well, I think it's no surprise, my friends, but World War III has kicked off. That's right, it's exactly what we expected, and we are back here in Warno. But I've got some great news. There have been a tremendous amount of updates in this game, and let me tell you, it not only is a better game, it's a completely different game. Uh, we're no longer talking about the micromanagement systems of war game, but something where you can actually um, sort of do your own thing um, and allow your commanders, your officers, to make decisions on their own. So now, the reason that you see me getting these Polizei units, these are fairly new, as are the Unimog uh, German, West German police units, we are simply going to use these guys to capture these initial points, and we're actually gonna be using the rest of our forces to assist in the capture of these other points specifically this central area right there the town i believe this is what controls the entire map as far as i'm concerned so that's what i'm going for and we also have some interesting command units here um the dragons but really i think i want to just use my fab uh we'll go ahead and bring this thing out just in case the enemy doesn't have I one we're gonna have them go there uh let's go over here And I do want to make it look like we're going to push up this side, but really our goal is going to be push up that center there. So I'm also going to bring in some Voltigers. Um, we've also got some Berlin light rifles. Those are American troops uh, just stationed in Berlin, and they carry 90 millimeter recoilless rifles. I mean, these are vicious, vicious units. Uh, so I'm actually going to put a little bit of a fighting force here. And I'll even give them a few uh, recce units and tanks. I think the recce units are like essential in this game as far as I am concerned. Um, so let's do this. And some AMX. I haven't tried these tanks before. I don't really like to go with tanks I haven't tried. The, ch the chieftains I have, and they're absolutely incredible tanks, uh, the British chieftains. Um, so let's bring in... It's going to be so expensive, though. I think we're going to have to trust in the French AMX tanks for this particular area. And again, I told you guys there's a new system. And guys, we can simply seize locations now. Uh, and, and basically, we are giving command priority to the officer, letting them do their own choices, make their own choices, I should say. I think it's an absolutely beautiful thing. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get another recce truck over here. Um, the Fox, he's going to go with the officer unit, and we are going to get a whole bevy of tanks. Um, we could even get some, um, you know, rocket, uh, anti-tank rocket Humvees here, but I really want to go for those chieftains uh, to assist. So maybe two chieftains over here uh maybe even some additional anti-air units the man the pie vads and the man pads are fantastic let's go with some pie vads so we're gonna put a pie vad right there and i'm gonna put one right over here with this group too again we have to make it look like we're gonna be fighting over here even though we're not gonna put too much um emphasis on that location uh let's just take a look here that's just a humby nothing else which is interesting um but i actually want to bring in maybe some additional Votigers or some additional Berlin light rifles. We don't have many infantry in this particular setup. So we're going to grab the Votigers. Boom. And guys, all I'm going to do, again, That's with my seize ability, point. we're going to seize. And this time, these guys are actually going to go directly for that location. So we're going straight for the city location. In any case, wish us luck. I really want you guys to see this new system um, on display. Uh, and I'm hoping that my um, my tactics here of making the enemy think we're attacking over here and holding on with the police units. Um, and of course, meanwhile, assisting our ally is going to help us get to victory. Well, without further ado, let's jump in there. Make sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out. And thank you so much. Well, here we go, guys. The battle has begun. And I want to make it very clear that this particular ability, this capture ability does not mean that you can't that you shouldn't be micromanaging your units um you can also still continue to micromanage this is just giving you a broad idea of the new things available um and i think they're huge improvements now there we go looks like a pretty easy capture on that and i'll also bring in the pivad um just to assist in the capture but the goal here again is to make the enemy think that we really are pushing here and to make us make them think that i think what we're gonna have to do here is actually grab that entire group um, and we are going to seize the next location as well. So we're going to go right there on the edge of the woods, the um, and hopefully we'll be able to hold on quite a long time. Look at the beauty of that advance. There we go. Just police trucks, a few Bradleys, and of course a good old-fashioned tank. Um, looking pretty good, guys, as far as I'm concerned. It looks like our allies have actually already made it to that location on, um, I was going to say on foot, but... 
They've gotten their um, their vehicles in there and some scout units. So we are doing the exact same thing. And as you can see, like with these Vodigers, uh, as an example, I am going to micromanage them. I'm going to try to push them all the way up there. You can see there's a heavy enemy push on the western side of the map. I'm a little bit concerned about that. I'm not going to lie. Um, but we're going to keep on pushing and just make sure we have that Pyvad there as well. In fact, the guy's doing so well. Maybe we'll unload a little farther up nope a little late for that it's okay we're just gonna push the Vodigers up and i can already see some enemy um air units there so i am gonna start bringing in some additional pivads i'm not sure what their tarask is you know what let's bring in a tarask this is some sort of um anti-air unit a french anti-air unit um and maybe also some hell arms uh, I've never tried these attack helicopters, to be honest with you. I also want to bring in some additional French police forces. That's right, more men. Um, I, I don't want to call them cannon fodder, but right now they're kind of like that. All right, let's take a look over here, guys. Right side, there we go. Already have enemy choppers advancing here. You've got to get them. I'm going to have the police unit unload here. And just with continuous small arms fire, I think we're going to be able to take that thing down. There we go. He's stunned. Let's get some more AA here. Beautiful. There he goes, guys. He is dropping. And you can actually see the light rifles. The officers have ordered them out over here in the woods, um, which is a really, really good move, I got to say. Like, just look at that, man. So cool. Now, again, the enemy is pushing over here, but like I told you guys before, our goal is to just hold them here. So I'm going to bring in some <clears throat> toes. Um, I'm also going to bring in some additional infantry units, maybe some engineer flash. They're not going to be able to do anything against tanks, actually, so we'll hold with them. Uh, but I want to keep the command vehicle back here, as far away from the front as possible. Right, let's take a look at that central area. All right, let's push. So we're going to grab this group, guys. We are going to seize the next location. Boom. We are making the attempt to take it. And in the meantime, I'm also going to grab a whole bunch of French Vitigos. And with the French Vitigos, we're going to go ahead and also push into that location. So really trying to overwhelm it with units before uh, the enemy gets too strong here. It looks like we're doing a great job taking out those air units. Yes, I'm actually going to bring a chieftain around uh, to defend Copy, this advance. Also keep the P-Bat right there. Probably a good idea to bring yes, in some additional chieftains. Load them up, boys. Load them up. There we go. Look at those Soviet units. Yeah, baby. Absolutely eliminating them. There we go. We really want to get that P-64, man. That is the problem right there. And I hope those toes are making a difference. I think they are. I could see the um, the anti-tank missiles being launched, Backwards. locking onto targets, etc. But I definitely want to bring in some additional tanks. So you know what? Let's bring in some more chieftains. <laughs> and I'm also going to bring in one of these Rardens. I have no idea what it is, but uh, it simply means more armor on the field. So I am going to make it happen. All right, we got to be careful here, guys. Oh my goodness! Be very careful. Not going so well with this unit. Although, if we can keep that command vehicle there, we might be able to take this area. Not too bad. And look, they're actually sending in a BMD. So I really want to assist quickly. Um, we're going to send in that chopper. Um, they're going to do everything they can to destroy our command unit here. And they might succeed. Yep, there we go. Command unit down. That's totally on me, too. But incredibly, we're still holding over here. And I am going to do a siege, guys. Let's do it. Seize location. We shift. Got the Vodigers arriving as well. And I'm actually going to try to unload these Vodigers over here. Again, this is, is going to be Enemy more spot. of a um, sort of a micromanaging situation, if you want to call it that. It's just taking a look over there on the western side to see how we're doing too. And you know what? I wouldn't mind bringing in some additional Lynx helicopters. I've really enjoyed these. Um, let's do it. We're going to bring them over here on this attack. Beautiful. The anti-air is still at work, and the Vodigers are going to be ambushing this Soviet uh, BMP moving up. No, it's actually a nice East German BMP. And you know what? While we're waiting for additional units, I'm going to actually bring in some Stingers. Uh, these are going to be American units with Stinger missiles. Uh, just set up in this general area, so if they send any more attack helicopters, uh, we're going to be able to deal with them very quickly. Let's 
Let's push. Let's push. Can't stop yet, guys. And it looks like our ally is also pushing. So what am I going to do? I am going to go for a ridiculous amount of AMXs. And boom. We're sending in a tank arm right into the center. This is red too. Enemy spotted. I'm going to bring these chieftains yes, and these ardens up as well, guys. Copy, sir. But my most important move is going to be getting the infantry yeah, to the buildings uh, so that we can really call this position R. So I'm sending those guys right there immediately. Still waiting for that 195 boost. We really need it. Here we go. Here we go. If he gets close enough, he should be able to take it out. Come on, Vertigers. The Vertigers do have rockets capable of taking out um, air units, but they don't lock on. That's the problem. To We're gonna have to wait for the damn Humvee. Let's hope there won't be any enemy air defense. Again, the goal was always just to hold on to that area. So far, we are accomplishing that. The next goal is to capture this area right here. I hope our ally has the wherewithal to bring in um, a command unit. If not, we're going to have to do the hard work here, guys. And I believe that's what's going to happen. So we're going to bring in the Dragon Light Rifles there. Once we get there, we will unload the unit. And we're going to unload this guy Everyone instantly. Out. Get the Stinger out. One of the Stinger missiles did hit the target. He is pretty badly stunned, but still holding on for dear life. Come on, boys. A miss with the Stinger. Brace yourself. We're flying in. And you know, I'm tempted to send the choppers over here, to be honest with you, uh, and just have them assist here, but we need someone to defend this area. And there we are. We're past the 50% point, but I am not worried. Again, it takes NATO a little while, I've noticed that, um, in this particular game to really develop. Um, and that's that's the case here as well. So here we go. We're already getting some air units. We even have Nighthawks, guys. Um, but I think I'm just going to bring in the Harrier to assist. Maybe we could just have him go ahead and take this guy out, simplify things for us. Just get me out of here. Now, where is that command unit? Ryan, get down! We have find contact. Don't tell me we're gonna have to bring in another one. Uh. Also need to bring in additional recce, and you know what? We can have a recce chopper, as long as we keep him back here behind the lines. Boy, they, they have a lot of forces there. As you can see, this guy is just taking a hell of a hit. I'm actually going to order him to evac. And I'm going to bring in an additional command unit. I guess we're just going to be extra careful with him. Not sure how he got killed there. And even some Polizei reserve from the West Germans here. Uh, but I think we need to start pushing forward with all of these men. So I'm going to orders, boom sir? over here. And I'm actually going to push towards this mall area. In fact, we're just going to have a seize order on the northern part of the map here. This is Red 2. Enemy spotted. Get him, boys. Let's see how our allies are doing in the advance. Pretty strong there. There we go. Light rifles yes, arriving. We want them to unload at position, and let's hope that they don't have eyes on because we're going to drop Bring them right there. there. That's what I'm looking for, man. Um, we could even try to take the other position here, but you can see the enemy's really pushing on the right side here uh, now. So, you know what? We're going to bring in some tow missiles. Uh, we're going to bring in some recce if we can. The but they are definitely pushing forward with the uh, with the Panzers. Right, we're actually going to bring in the Terrier. He should be able to take out that Flam Panzer. Um, and in fact, our attack helicopter should be able to take these things out. But they have to get awful close to do make any uh, any sort of difference. And 
there we go we have successfully captured this area uh, you can see the points have stabilized orders, but we have sir? to keep on pushing i won't say no to a taxi and at this point, I don't really think we're in a position to call in uh, reinforcements or those kind of reinforcements. We need to fo focus exclusively on defending the area here. So let's push them through. Uh, let's push the recce through. Recce helicopters, fine. And some additional tanks if we can afford them. The AMXs will have to do. I hear you loud and clear. Stop it. Look at that, guys. We are taking that center. It's looking a lot better. And you can see the balance of points has flipped entirely. Um, so playing. that's what we want to see more of. Um, and maybe even we can addition we can we can very soon maybe just bring in some units over here. Of course, I think we need to really strengthen this area here um, because the enemy is certainly going to push. Baldwin, um, bring and us there. maybe just let our uh, allies kind of deal with this. So we'll bring the dragon in, but with some of these guys, I'm, I'm almost tempted to just send them over here. But I know better. Um, we're holding on to Delta. Maybe we can actually assist some of our units over here. So let's bring in some more Harriers. The Harriers have been da damn effective. Unfortunately, this Harrier is only for anti-air uh, operations. Or at least light armor operations. Is hot. And you know what else we'll do, guys? We'll bring in additional Voltigers, because the Voltigers can actually hide in the forest there uh, and still provide some pretty good anti armor capabilities uh, and especially anti infantry capabilities here. So let's take a look over at this area. Should we just go for the ultimate capture? You know what? <clears throat> I am going to try to cut the enemy off at the source over here. So we're actually going to order our men to assault this way. The other cool thing about that seize order is you'll see the guys will get into the vehicles uh, automatically, of course, because they want to move quicker. Uh, so the officers make those decisions. And I just think that's such a beautiful addition to the game. Uh, really adds like an entirely new level of gameplay as far as I'm concerned. It looks like without proper tanks, it's going to be really like hard to take those enemy tanks out. Uh, maybe we just go ahead and bring in some additional Harriers for this. Or just some additional anti-tank infantry units. I think that's going to be the idea here. Put some light rifles in there. Uh, maybe even some Politi Reserve, although they have no anti-tank units at all. Let's just have them unload. Looks like our I first uh, chopper has arrived, and it's going to be the Hell Arm. Brace yourself. It's definitely fine. got a visual on something I over here. A lot of hands. grenadiers fighting from that position. Oh my god, there's some in this building! Gotta well, watch out. Yourself. Stay back. A lot in this building. Look at that. They've got a lot in the center there. We want to be very careful with this I'm advance. Going. So I'm going to change the order to simply seizing the center. And you know what? We can bring in a chieftain. We might as well. Enemy spotted. What are your orders, sir? The Flum Punzer is very effective against our uh, infantry, so calling in the air unit um, on priority Ooh, to take that thing out. Nearby. Come on, baby. We need you now. There we go. All right, hopefully we can ambush them. We got a lot of guys in the trees here, guys. Look at that. They're coming up the road. Can we stop them? That's the question. Um, and I'm going to send in an additional chieftain. I'm doing everything I can to hold on to this position. There we go. There we go. Not too bad. They're still ambushing pretty well, guys. We're still hitting those Fem Flum Panzers. Best job I've hit ever had. boys, hit them. Gonna unload right Everyone there up. with the rifles. And just move them in for a nice, good old fashioned ambush. Let's get rid of the road here the Soviets are. Actually, a lot of these are East German troops. Makes no difference here. Take out the 
they can see, they can kill. Radio check, red, one, six, over. Fight consistent. Let's see how that point, is. points are going fine, guys, and we have secured the city. Look at that. Our men are still pushing in. Of course, it's still a very tenuous situation, but it looks like the city belongs to us. Yo, I'm back to base. It looks like some of our Harriers back are up, heading back, back to base. You know what? I would not mind bringing in additional uh, Harrier units. Uh, let's... Now, this one, I think, is only for infrared rockets. So I'd rather bring in this one that I'm a little more just familiar with. Target. And just Damn, that eliminate close. that BMP. What are your orders, sir? Chieftain should be able to kill this thing as soon as he gets to the edge of the woods there. And it looks like even our ally is sending in some assistance. Thank goodness, man. We really did need it um, in this fight, especially. To attack control. But I think everything went off without a hitch. As long as that point gain continues, guys, we essentially accomplished our goal. And in fact, we're even high. helping our, um, our ally here quite a bit. Let me unload, unload yeah, that yeah. commander unit there. Uh, we're going to try to help them out even I more, um, but we've really helped them out on that particular part of the battlefield. And once we get the officer in here, should be able to grab this point too. Look at that. Nice, baby. Got another light happen. rifle unit. I Copy, guess they sir. just drove around. So because I, I gave they, them they an attack order um, with the um, C's, um, the officers were actually smart enough yes, to sir. evade any enemy attacks. Just awesome, guys. Just awesome. Here we go. Pioneer is still pushing in. We might need to start assisting. Um, I think we're going to take the fight to the enemy. So let's seize, guys. Sure, all these German units, uh, American units, French units are desperate uh, to get up there and take this position. And in fact, I want to make sure that one of these units is an attacking tank unit, command tank unit, so that um, he will absolutely capture this area as well. Uh, let's also get some AA just to be safe. And really, I quite like those Tarasks. I guess it's not a very modern uh, system, um, but they're so cheap and this they're not bad. You know, they, they get the job fun. done. I'm loving that so far. Uh, what do we got? We got any more uh, Reki? Might as well bring in some Reki to make it easier for our allies to spot um, the enemy and our own units, of course. So I'm going to bring in a Reki, uh, Reki uh, uh, unit target. there. Even gonna call in an additional strike uh, with our carrier, but this is looking beautiful, beautiful guys. And actually, those AMXs—they're not so bad, are they? A little strange looking, but kind of reminds me of a martyr tank. Um, but gets the job done against against the T55. It's balanced, so again, not the greatest tank in the world. But, um, it'll hopefully um, protect us until the end here. And there we go, guys. I believe that is going to be a victory. Viva! NATO, I guess. Uh, there you go. You can actually see the kill marker. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. I think, like I said, they've added a lot with that um, seize ability. Um, there, there are a bunch of similar abilities which really give your officers um, the okay to kind of do their own thing. And I think that's exactly how things should be for a proper strategy games experience. Well, again, if you like this and you want to see some more Warno, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and share this channel with your friends. The more, the merrier. Take care, friends.